What's going on everybody, Austin here. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can get started with affiliate marketing step-by-step -step as a complete beginner. We're gonna go over the benefits, how affiliate marketing works, um, getting started, like what niche to be in, traffic sources, and some of the networks for you to become affiliates for. So those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Austin, we talk all things entrepreneurship and making money online. So go ahead and subscribe, smash that like button for me, and let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So. If any of you don't know what affiliate marketing is, affiliate marketing is where you promote somebody else's product and you receive a commission anytime a sale occurs through a, a unique website that is provided to you. So reasons I absolutely love affiliate marketing is the fact it takes very little to no startup costs to get started. You don't have to source products. You don't do customer service. There's no fulfillment things. There's really not much for you to do. All you essentially do is you bridge the gap between businesses and the audience. So you just have to get somebody to purchase another company's products. And this can be done with many and many of companies, almost every big company you could possibly think of probably has an affiliate program. And we'll dive into that um, later on in today's video, how you can become partners with these networks or these big companies and how easy it really is to um, partner with them to sell their products or promote their products to your audience. Um, a big thing I find to help with this is to actually just promote products that you use or believe in or you companies that you use or believe in as well. I don't just do this for the money. I do this to help my audience. So a big thing for me is, and again, we'll talk about the different niches, is I'm in the, uh, the um, financial niche, which is the wealth niche. So I help people get started with online business. So I usually refer stuff that I use in my business to start their business. And we'll definitely get into that later on today. So let's go over the benefits of this in affiliate marketing. And like I said, the biggest benefit is that you don't have to pay to partner with these programs. You don't have to pay for products. Like you don't own the products. All you do is partner with an existing company like Amazon, and I'm sure you've heard of Amazon. You could promote all of the products on Amazon or just promote Amazon as a platform to an audience. And anytime somebody visits your website link to get to Amazon, you can receive a commission if they choose to purchase anything in the cookie time frame or the cookie window that is allotted. And for Amazon, it's 24 hours. So let's show you exactly how this works. Let's dive into my little whiteboard right here. Take a look at the computer screen. And I'm going to show you, um, for example, you want to talk about, oops, I gotta get a pen. Let's say we wanna talk about Amazon, right? So here is Amazon. We'll just put A-M-Z. Why is that super thick? Let's, mm, you wanna talk about Amazon. So you need to get an audience over to Amazon, right? So we know people shop there. If this audience goes to Amazon through your affiliate link, you will receive a commission. Sounds super simple, right? It, and it, it really is, the business model is super simple. You don't have to pay to sign up for Amazon. All you are doing is trying to get this traffic. This is your job. Amazon takes care of, uh, you'll see Amazon, they'll take care of all the customer service, all the products. Amazon does all of that. And anytime somebody purchases, you receive money. Um, that will range anywhere on Amazon, one to 10%. In fact, let's jump over to Amazon and I'll show you that right now. So if you go to amazon.com and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see, this is look around, uh, make money with us. There's a tab that says become an affiliate. If you were just to click that, and again, I'm just using Amazon as a broad reference, you could do this essentially with almost any website. Um, they usually have affiliate programs. If you they don't, maybe they're willing to make one, um, but like Best Buy, Target, and these are physical products. Again, this is, good. I'll show you how you can do this with banking companies like uh, Wells Fargo, American Express, insurance companies. There's so many companies you can do. Um, but again, we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but take a look. What you do is you sign up, you recommend products, and you earn up to 10% in associate commissions from qualifying purchases. 
which is every purchase through your affiliate link. And if you take a look right here, how do I earn in this program? You could click this um, button right here where it says learn more, and it's going to show you the fixed commission income rates that you get right here. So um, for example, if you're in the luxury and beauty category, you get 10% commission rates. Um, down into music and uh, videos, 5%. And then it starts dropping from there. Um, so the problem with Amazon is the fact that the commissions don't pay that high. So it can take you a lot of time or a lot of sales um, to start to actually generate uh, enough income to actually um, it make an impact or be like something you can live off of like $10,000 a month or something like that. Because if you're selling a $1,000 product and let's say you get a 5% commission, off of a thousand dollars um that's fifty dollars so you're going to essentially have to sell a hundred of these uh, a month or get a hundred purchases a month to uh make about just five thousand bucks a month which again that's not too bad but those are uh and actually i don't even know yeah 50 times 100 is that five thousand yeah that's five thousand so um but that shows you how you can do this from a basic level. Uh, and a thing with Amazon though, is that your audience is cookied for 24 hours. So let's say you have your Amazon link out there on the internet where somebody can click it and they choose to click it. So for example, in my videos, when people like, since I talk on camera and stuff like that, that what I promote the most on Amazon or my Amazon affiliate store, it's for my digital equipment. It's my camera, my camera bag, my lighting and stuff like that. That's what I promote from Amazon because it's what I personally use. So if I put that link out there and say a YouTube video in the description below and somebody migrates to that link and they go to Amazon and they purchase my camera equipment that I recommend, I receive a commission. However, if they choose not to make that purchase, but they some in the, in the next 24 hours purchase anything from Amazon, I will still receive a commission in the category or the department they purchased in. Um, I'll receive that um, commission rate. And the reason why I'll still get paid out from Amazon is because I still brought Amazon um, a, a buyer. I still brought audience. I still brought people to their platform to shop. So I'm getting paid a pretty much a marketing fee, a marketing fee, just like if they were to run advertisements to their platform to get an audience, they pay for that. So it's essentially the same thing. You're getting paid as the advertiser um, or marketer to bring traffic to their website, ultimately resulting in sales. If sales occur, then you get paid. So that's how the uh, whole affiliate marketing works um, from a very basic structure. So let's um, go ahead and talk about niches and how you get started. And a lot of people ask, well, how do I actually get started? What niche should I be in? And if you don't know what a niche is, a niche is the category um, that pays you for, uh, like, let's just say it's a category. Like I said earlier, I'm in um, wealth. Wealth is one of the top three niches. Um, so I talk or I express stuff or, or I talk about um financials, finances, whether it be stocks, whether it be banking, whether it be making money, um, whether it be websites, how to actually build a business and stuff like that. That's what I talk about. We consider that the wealth niche um, or financial niche. And that's because I'm talking about stuff that can change somebody's finances, whether it be um, a bank account or this or that, or stock trading on like um, Webull or Robinhood or something like that. And these are partners I'm affiliated with. This is what I talk about, so this is what I affiliate. Um, so the biggest thing is, is finding something that is, you know, I, I know you've heard this before, find something you're passionate about and talk about that. And the reason why people say do something you're passionate about is because when you're passionate about something, it makes it easier for you to express that to people. Um, ultimately building that know, like, and trust factor, getting your audience to resonate with you to ultimately get them to purchase and you receive a commission. In the end game, we're not just trying to get people to buy random stuff so we can make money. We're wanting to make an impact and we're really wanting to help people and provide them with solutions to something they want. So as long as it brings value to your audience, you can receive that commission. So that's that's a big factor. So like if you're into, I don't know, if you're into uh, sports and stuff like that, um, or, or let's say you're into fitness. Yeah, fitness, health and fitness um, is another big category. So let's go ahead and talk the top three niches are health, wealth, and relationships because they're invaluable to people. Everybody wants to be healthy 
Everybody wants to be wealthy. And, and even if they don't want to, they need to because like you have to create wealth. And I don't mean like wealth, like an abundance of wealth where you're super rich. I'm talking about understanding financial situations, understanding bank accounts and where you can leverage here and there. So just talking about finances and wealth is, is an industry. Talking about health could be about keto diets, um, weight loss, um, bodybuilding. It, it, there's so many subcategories inside of a niche that you could go down into a, a more specifics. And then the third is going to be relationships. Everybody wants to have love, whether it be like in the relationship or self-love um, and stuff like that. So those are the top three and people are willing to spend money in these, whereas entertainment doesn't pay as much. Let's say stuff, people like sports or something that's just for their self entertainment. Um, people don't seem to spend as much money in. Um, so it's going to be a little bit harder. Your audience may be a little bit smaller, um, but definitely pick what you are most passionate about because there is room in every niche to see success. And so the, and the thing is, it's hard. It'd be hard for me to talk about um, women's apparel or um, weight loss for women because that's just not something I'm passionate about. So it's, it'd be very hard for me to express that to my audience. Thus, me not being able to bring them much value, making it harder for me to see success um, as an affiliate marketer in that specific niche. So that's why I say go with something that you can resonate with, something your audience can resonate with because it's something you have passion behind. Um, it'll just make it easier for you to express anything from it, um, ultimately resulting in you being successful with affiliate marketing. So I hope that kind of broke down the um, niches and how you should go about picking this. And again, there's a there's something out there for everything, no matter what you wanna do. So if you do wanna go into the weight loss for women, you can go over to Google and search for weight loss stuff. In fact, let's talk about um, one marketplace. Oh, this is uh, called ClickBank. Um, you can go over to clickbank.com and, and they will have, uh, they have services. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. When you're in marketplace, see I'm logged in. When you're in marketplace, um, on the left-hand side, I can pick health and fitness and then I can see they have this very first thing that pops up is Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic, um, which pays an average conversion of $126. So that right there is a health and fitness product that I can go find a partner for and then I could become an affiliate for them and I can promote this to my audience so I can talk about it or I can help um, if I'm in the fitness industry, I can help people with these offers and I can receive a commission if they choose to purchase. Um, Let's go ahead and talk about um, a big question I get asked a lot. And, and that's going to be, uh, do I need a website? Um, every new affiliate marketer asks, do I need a website to get started? Um, because they don't really know how to start and they've probably heard that you have to have a blog or something of that nature. And um, while there's two sides to this answer, I want to tell you, yes, you do need a website. Um, but again, you don't have to, directly have a website, if that makes sense. Um, so let me kind of go into that a little bit more. So I'm on YouTube right now. So I may not have a website, but I have a YouTube that goes to my YouTube channel, ultimately giving me a place to source traffic. And, and a big thing about having a website is, is when you go to apply to be an affiliate for any of these websites or these other companies, they will ask for your website. And the reason they ask for your website is because they're curious to know how are you going to get traffic? Where is your viewership coming from? Where is your audience coming from? How are you going to benefit them as a company? They don't want to just partner with everybody. They want to see that you're going to bring value to them in exchange when you bring them value. You get value in the um, form of a commission. So yes, you need a website. Um, and, and on top of that, the website could be YouTube. It can be... Um, it's social platforms, but a, a, a website blog can bring you a lot of traffic. And the good thing about blogs is that it's a really, really warm audience. The, the, like if you do a blog and let's say it's a review blog comparing two different things or three different things, let's just use credit cards, for example. Everybody has credit cards, right? Um, and, and people are always like searching in Google, what is the best credit card? What credit card has the best cash back and stuff like that? So if you created a blog comparing four or five different credit cards with the best cash back, lowest interest rates, whatever it may be, 
and in the, the, the blog, you have affiliate links to each of those credit cards. Well, when your audience is on your blog, the reviewing and the reading the different comparisons, it's a comparison and contrast chart. It's, it, it's a blank, like it tells you exactly what it is and they see what fits them best. They can click that affiliate link and they can sign up for that credit card company, um, ultimately um, turning into a commission profit for you. That's the power of a blog as opposed to a YouTube channel that people maybe just view and then they maybe never click the links in the description. However, the good thing about a YouTube channel is um, it stays out there forever, uh, just like a blog, but traffic does go to YouTube. Um, Google is one of the largest search engines, if not the largest search engine on the internet today, and you can get a lot of views. However, you have to be in front of the camera, whereas a blog, you don't have to. Um, so do you need a website? Uh, yes, you need a website ultimately to get approved for affiliate offers because they're going to ask you for your website URL. Um, for me, I usually just put my YouTube URL in there due to the fact that I have like 15,000 subscribers. Um, I'll record it, uh, I'll put my YouTube.com uh, forward slash my name and that's my YouTube URL. I will put that there. If that's not the case, um, like when I was first getting started and I didn't have a YouTube channel, I didn't have an Instagram. You can do this with Instagram as well. But if you don't have those channels and you don't have a following, um, then you can, you will need a website to put in that blank. Um, so I'll show you at the end of this video how you can get a domain set up super easy and very affordably. But you need to put a domain in there and you can build a website and it could literally be a compare and contrast. It could be um, a blog just kind of directed towards that affiliate offer you're trying to get approved for. You could have separate pages on your blog and you could direct them exactly to that page in your blog for that website and ultimately get approved that way. So yes, you will need a website if you want to get approved for a bunch of, especially like the big companies like on affiliate marketplaces in affiliate networks. There are some affiliate offers you could go directly to that don't even ask for your website. Again, that's, um, I'd go with more of a needle in a haystack. You would have to know exactly who you want to go with, go directly to them and see if you can get approved that way. Um, another way around not having a website is telling them you're going to promote them via your email list. That is a little tip to get approved. However, I do highly recommend you get started with a website. I'll leave a link in the description below to get your website set up. Um, and again, we'll talk about it here in just a few minutes. Um, another thing I want to go over is traffic sources and, and, and people are like, well, okay, well, how do I get traffic? And that's kind of what we're talking about now, but there's different traffic sources. You have, um, organic, which is free. And then you have paid, um, paid traffic is exactly what it sounds like. It's where you pay for advertisements. You've seen them on Facebook. You've seen them on YouTube. You've probably even seen them in the middle of this video by now. Those are traffic source. That's a paid traffic source. Um, and, and for the sake of this video, I don't want to talk about going into paid traffic if you don't already have experience with affiliate marketing. Again, this is for beginners. And paid traffic obviously is going to cost some money and it's going to take a little bit more split testing and um, stuff like that. So you have, to, it's going to have higher risk. Um, and, and as a beginner, we don't want you to have that much risk. We want you to learn how you get started with as little upfront as possible and just get your feet wet. And the best way to do that is completely organic or completely free. And my best, my favorite things for free or the, how we could discuss about free is going to be um, blogs, which we just talked about. A blog is a website you put together, you do some SEO or search engine optimization to help get it ranked and so it can be viewed on Google. Um, there's blogs, there is YouTube. Again, like I said, YouTube is one of the largest, if not the largest search engine there is on the internet. So if you're willing to get on camera and do YouTube videos, and I, I know most people aren't willing to do that at first, but once you do it and you do it more and more, you'll get more and more comfortable and it becomes easier, becomes more natural. The problem is most of us don't want to do it at first. I didn't want to do it at first. I'm sure you don't want to do it. And that's, it's a limiting belief. Uh, and it kind of makes it a little bit harder. And you could do YouTube videos. A lot of people don't know this, but you could do YouTube videos without ever recording yourself. You could do voiceovers. You could do product reviews. There's so many ways to do YouTube videos without having to record your face. Um, I could actually just screen record my computer the whole entire time and not show you my face. So it's up to you how you want to present it, but I do highly recommend you use YouTube. And again, YouTube is completely free. You could just post videos on YouTube. And the power of YouTube is, 
Imagine a video only gets 10,000 views, but if it gets 10,000 views and 1% of that 10,000 um, go to your link and buy, that's 100 people. And let's say your commission rate is, let's just say your commission's 100 bucks on 100 people, that's $10,000 that you could potentially make by recording one YouTube video that stays out there forever. Again, um, that's the power of YouTube as well as blogs. Um, another great source of traffic that is free is Facebook groups. You could build a Facebook group um, that organically builds up over time. The problem with this is it can take some time to build a Facebook group. Um, just like anything, it's going to take time to build a YouTube channel. It's going to take time to build a blog. However, a YouTube channel and a blog, when they're out there, they're providing value to people um, automatically. Whereas a YouTube channel is you kind of have to keep updating it. You have to keep posting to it. Um, otherwise, the content really won't be there. And you have to start to build that audience and get that audience engaging. However, a long-term gain, um, a Facebook group definitely will benefit you. And you can build a whole Facebook group based off of your industry, whether it's, um, let's go back to the keto diets. If it's totally keto diets or weight loss, it could be a weight loss Facebook group. I know you've seen them. They're out there. It's possible. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Um, another thing I really like to talk about is email marketing. Um, email marketing comes with You've seen it like when you sign up for anything and you just get emails over and over and over again, even at like Amazon, Amazon emails you when they get different things or things you may like, um, it, they'll email you every single day for like ever. Um, obviously it takes an audience to build this. So this is when I would kind of talk about funnels and how you would do an email opt-in and you would obtain somebody's email in exchange for something prior to bringing them to your offer. We're not going to talk about that on this video because that's a little bit more complex and not as beginner friendly, but doing email marketing, once you start getting up and going, is very, very beneficial to help sustain your affiliate marketing business. So what you essentially do is you collect somebody's email and then you email them and nurture them over the course of a period of time, um, showing them affiliate offers, bringing them value, driving them back to your blog, driving them back to your Facebook group, driving them back to your YouTube channel, and that right there is a great way to market as well for free. And the thing about email marketing is you've already obtained the emails, however you obtained them, you now get to market to these people over and over and over again, absolutely free, um, unless you have an email autoresponder, which you pay for, but the, the email list is yours and you own it and you don't have to pay for ads or anything. You don't have to put more content out there or anything like that. So let's jump back at my computer and I wanna go over some affiliate networks where you can start to um, sign up and find partners, find these big companies for you to start promoting. Um, it's, it's not gonna be as soon as today, really, because you're gonna have to sign up, you're gonna have to apply, and they usually ap approve you in two to three to five days. So let's jump over to some that I actually use. Um, one of them being Impact, impact.com. Um, you can come right here, and you would just hit get started, and you would sign up. And you see Walmart, Ticketmaster, Microsoft, Levi's, Lenovo, Airbnb, Adidas. These are all big brands. They are listed on this marketplace or this affiliate network. So when you go in here, in fact, let me sign in, it'll look like this. These are all the affiliate offers right here. There's over 1,779 brands on this current page I'm on. And you can see Adidas right here. You get 7% of the sale. Um, Ace Hardware, Five Star Nutrition, 8080. There are so many different companies. Um, if I scroll down, it'll just keep popping up. And what you essentially do is you create your account and you can sign up to be affiliates for all of these companies. Um, once you're approved, you will then be given an affiliate link, which is a website address, and you can put it out there in your Facebook groups, um, your YouTube channel, and on your blog. Again, let's jump over to another one I really like. It's going to be shareacell.com. Um, they have over 15,200 merchants, um, 150 million dollars uh, in sales generated in just 2019. 150 million sales generated, not even dollars. That's sales. Um, so obviously, way more than that. Um, you can come in here and you can sign up the Etsy, Groupon, Retail Me Not, and you can just click uh, sign up. I have an account here, so it'll log me in. But um, that's another one I highly recommend you check out. Uh, let's jump over to this last one I showed you again, um, was ClickBank and ClickBank Marketplace. And you can see, again, they have all kinds of categories that you can get into. And you, you would essentially, you can sign up for these places for free, right? You sign up and you come over here and let's just go back to um, health and fitness, right? And 
you can see how much your average conversion is, what they pay you, $126, $110, $50, 132 And I hope you see how much more powerful this is compared to like Amazon where the commissions are a lot smaller because these commission percentages are literally like 50, 55%. Um, percent. Um, example for what I use for like email marketing, let's jump over to get response. Uh, let me type that right, get response, right? Um, GetResponse.com. And if you scroll down to the bottom, all the way down, um, this is a website I use, uh, affiliate programs right here on the left. If you were to click it, let me move my whiteboard. And you can see you can sign up for free. And look at the payout. I either get 100 bucks for every sale immediately, or I get 33% reoccurring commission every single month. Obviously, I'm going for the reoccurring commission because when I onboard somebody and I teach them how to use this, well, hopefully they'll stay with uh, Get Response for quite some time. And when I have a reoccurring commission from uh, members every single month, it lets me have like kind of like that, um, I guess, uh, that threshold of the income that I know will be coming in every month once I get to a certain number. It helps me be build a sustainable affiliate marketing business because I know these members will stay members um, based off of obviously data and the LTV and stuff on my customers. I know this is getting a little bit more advanced, so I don't want to get into it too much. But when you get into a reoccurring commission um, products like this, then you can start to actually build a sustainable business model um, to where you could, it's a measurable business model. I have the retention rate. I know how many more people I onboard on average, and then I could actually project the growth and stuff with my business. And this is just one of many um, affiliate programs, but this is one that I promote because I use it in my business. So it makes it easy for me to tell my audience about it. So if, again, if you're interested in getting started and you need a website, um, I'll leave a link in the description below um, to give you get you uh, signed up with Bluehost for web hosting. I'm um, starting at just three ninety five a month. It's normally a little bit more than that, um, and, and they'll also give you a free domain, a free SSL certificate included, um, and one click WordPress install. So it'll be super simple for you to get set up. And all you would do, click the link, um, in the first link in the description below to get set up with Bluehost for you to get a website, right? And this is where you're going to host your website. You have to have um, a server to host your domain. And that's essentially what this is. So if you hit get started after you get set up, it'll bring you, um, it'll bring you to this page right here. Um, they recommend this one, but I'm going to tell you, if you're just getting started, go ahead and get the basic plan over here on the left, $3.95 a month. It's not that bad. Um, and you can see the difference. You get one website over here. You get unlimited websites. So if you, if you are thinking that you're going to start getting a lot of traffic, you're going to build this big website. You want a lot to go on. You want a lot, um, like you feel like you and you have the money obviously but you're going to put a lot of time and effort in this this is definitely worth it because you can build as many websites as you want you can compare all of these i want you to pick at your own discretion but if you're a complete beginner basic will be just fine um, again you only get one website though so and, and there's nothing wrong with having one website because you could create different pages so it could be like um let's do my name right um if i do my name um, and it's a, it'll tell me if it's available. It's going to say available. And then when I start creating my pages, I could do on um, my website.com forward slash, and then it could be um, whatever page, if, uh, start an LLC, doc, start an LLC. And then on that blog page, I could talk about, I could compare starting, I could talk about starting your LLC. I could talk about ink file. I could talk about legal zoom. I could talk about the, those third party softwares that allow you to start your LLC. Um, and then if I wanted to do something else on fitness, I could do austinalbecker.com forward slash keto diet. And then when I go to apply for my affiliate offers, I would just put the, that page in the URL web bar. Um, so go ahead, sign up, get your website started. Um, we're running out of time in this video because we're already at 30 minutes. Um, let's scroll down real quick though. Um, right here where it has the extras, you could get rid of this, this code guard basic and stuff. Um, you could get rid of the site lock security. I just recommend you keep this domain privacy and protection on. That's literally all I recommend you keep on um, and then go ahead and get started. Um, once you get your website and everything, if you want help getting uh, the website um, designed using WordPress, this will give you step-by-step -step instructions 
However, if you need more help and you've made it this far in the video, um, go ahead, uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then put in the comments below that you need help getting your website up and going. You got your website, you're ready, you want a video, a full tutorial on setting up a website, a blog website using WordPress, and I will be more than happy to create that video. So thank you everybody for being here. I hope you got value out of this. Again, smash that like button for me. Um, leave in the comments what you need help with. Let's get started. I'll leave a link for Bluehost down in the description below. Um, I'll also leave a, 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 a training program in the link if you're interested in taking this a step further. But let me know if you liked it. Um, thanks everybody for being here. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.